Hello there. We're out here in Sky Meadow State Park here in Virginia. Uh, around Dela Plain, Markham, that kind of deal. Uh, and I've been walking along this trail and I've, I see this tree. There's a, a, a tree that's sort of leaning this way. I think it's fallen and just hung on some other trees. And then you've got the focal point, which is that tree in the back that sort of branches out. I have a circular polarizer on this to try to cut glare off of the leaves because the sun is to the south of us. We're at F8, 120th of a second. All right, the last time that I came down here, I saw this creek, but it looked like it would be difficult to get to. This time, I said to heck with it and did what I had to to get down here. Uh, you've got the creek running through. I've got this, this tree over to the right with all the roots visible. That looks really cool. Got a little bit bitty flat piece of land over here and the tree that shoots out. I don't know if I've got that in the frame. Hang on. Okay, just a bit of that tree that shoots out. I have a circular polarizer on and also you can see how heavy the light is at that opening. You can see all this light in here. So I have a circular polarizer trying to uh, kill as much of the glare as I can but I want to keep some of it on the water because you see these reflections and I don't want to kill them but I have a lot of light coming in here so what I have is I have a, a, a graduated neutral density filter excuse me a minute on that and we are at F8 and one sixth of a second and as always with landscape photography, still photography, I have my remote shutter. We're going to go ahead and take that shot. I was walking along the trail and, and I see this dead tree. It's leaning across the creek here and it's got, uh, it's caught up in this other tree here and another dead tree that's beside it. So it's got like all kinds of vines and stuff wrapped around it and, and different kinds of limbs and things from the dead tree, the other dead tree that's there and all of that. Uh, I think it looks really nice. It's got a rugged kind of look to it that I really like. So you see I'm in portrait mode. 
we're at a thirteenth of a second. I have a circular polarizer on it to cut some of the glare. And uh, F10, a thirteenth of a second. Well, it seems like I'm getting a lot of shots of that have water elements in them. That's not an issue. <laughs> I like that, and I'll take what I can get. But I have, we're not at the same angle as our still camera is, but I have these two trees here and this little outcropping of land. There's a creek that runs through there, and what I'm doing, and I, I'm splitting off that one lower tree that kind of branches over top of the creek. We're at F8, 1 15th of a second in portrait mode, and you see we've got the outcropping around. We have this little tree, this this section of the tree that reaches over. There's only one thing in this photograph that I'm not really keen on, and that is that there is a a branch or a line, a, it might even be a rope, I'm not sure I can't see that well. It looks like a branch that shoots across down here. You'll see it when, you, when we uh, post the picture up. That is kind of a distraction in my opinion but we're going to go ahead and take this shot because uh, in Virginia, in the area I'm in, you're never going to get perfect. I ran across this fungus, these mushrooms. Uh, there's a little slug on it, but it keeps moving into places where I can't get a clear shot of it. Uh, every time I try to get a shot of it, the composition doesn't look right. The angle toward the mushrooms, I've tried down low, I've tried at that angle. It looks the best looking at it right here, in my opinion. So what I am, I am at F14, four tenths of a second, and uh, I'm about a third of a stop underexposed. And that's the shot. 